Well, the country has been electric over the past while, coming together and cheering on those Toronto Blue Jays as they enjoy playoff baseball for the first time in 22 years. We are delighted today to be joined by a special guest. He has been the radio voice of the Jays for three and a half decades. Broadcaster Jerry Howarth is with us on the line today. Uh, Jerry, I want to thank you for speaking with us, and I'm not sure there's too many others that I'm more happy for than yourself when it comes to the Jays reaching the playoffs this season. For someone that's uh, with the team day in and day out, I, I would think this has to be one of the most satisfying experiences in many years for you personally. Well, it really is, Brad, and first of all, thanks for having me on, and second of all, I'm so happy for the fans. They're young, they don't remember a lot the 92 and 93 years, but this is their team, and I'm so happy that the Blue Jays went out there to Texas and won two to set up this game on Wednesday for everybody. It's going to be so exciting for sure. Now, I'd like to touch on three specific concepts with you today, Jerry, and they're somewhat intangible concepts. Uh, each can relate to our faith journey or our Christian walk, and I'd like you, I'd like to ask you about each as it relates to the season that the Toronto Blue Jays are enjoying this year. Now, those three concepts are the importance of character, the power of redemption, and the necessity for teamwork. So let's start with character. The Christian life, of course, is one where our character or our integrity is, is very important. And the Blue Jays made a number of changes this past off season to improve, I think, the character of the ball club. Talk to us about the difference that character has made on this team this season and their journey to the postseason. It's everything, because what you want on a 25-man roster is you look around and you say, I want to do this for you. You do this for me. We'll do this together. Everybody brings different talents, different skills. They're all very good to get here. But when you connect together, where you have role players and people know what those roles are, then whether it's winning or losing, uh, being positive or negative, or failure or success, you do it together. And this is what they mean, that when you win, you win together. When you lose, you lose together. So character is everything, because when you look down deep inside of you, Brad, you're only as good as who you are, how you relate to God, how you relate to Christ. And then after that, the bottom line is, what's a bigger picture than just me playing baseball? And this team has that in the clubhouse, and you can see that day in and day out, and it's very gratifying. The radio voice of the Toronto Blue Jays, Jerry Howarth, is with us. Now, Jerry, the second concept I want to address with you is the power of redemption. As believers, we're each a story of redemption, you could say, and we all benefit from, from grace and forgiveness, the opportunity for a second chance. Now, relating that to the Jays of this season, I think of someone like Kevin Pillar. It was just last season that Kevin fell into the manager's dughouse because of an incident on the field where he reacted to and, and questioned the decision of his boss. And he was sent to the minors for several months where he, he had to come to grips with what he did, but he eventually got the opportunity for redemption. And boy, has he delivered ever since. A beautiful story about the power of a second chance. Yes, and with his three hits yesterday, he now has seven hits, most in this series for either the Blue Jays or the Rangers. And I think what you said there is true, too. You have to go down in a situation like that. I think of Romans 3.23. We all fall short of the glory of God. So when you do, and we do it every day, how do you then pick yourself up, make yourself better, and say to God, help me because I know I can be better. We're all good who can be better. And so Kevin, in a baseball sense, did that last year, and he showed character as well, going back to your first point, because many times through adversity, people just give up or they fall by the wayside or they point the finger of blame and say it was him or it was her or it was that decision not mine but when you can address yourself and say it was me and it's up to me to get better for my adversity then you've got character and then who benefits from that all of kevin's teammates because they've seen what he's done and they look at that maybe as a model for what they might have to do in a similar situation that is so true uh, jerry let's talk about teamwork now the third concept i wanted to address with you and i I think you can liken this concept to life as well, because we all really should be living for others, realizing that there's something much bigger going on than our own selfish desires in this life. And when you look at the 2015 Jays, there's no question you see teamwork and cohesiveness, and that's been a big part of their success. And I, I think that was summed up beautifully by R.A. Dickey after Game 4, when he commented, it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't care who gets the credit. Talk about how teamwork is so, has been so integral to Toronto's success on and off the field this season. Well, that's great insight from you, Brad. And it reminds me of 92-3 and three when 
even in 92 when he was named the World Series MVP, I went up to catcher Pat Borders and I said, would you mind signing this for my son? He signed it and I said, would you mind putting World Series MVP under your name? He said, oh, Jerry, I can't do that. Hmm. Everybody else contributed as much as I did and we're all MVPs. And I never forgot that modesty and that sense of teamwork. Who does that now? Russ Martin. He sets the example behind the plate. Who's the biggest cheerleader on this team? David Price. Who shows character when he's taken out in a situation where he could have had a win? R.A. Dickey, as you've already mentioned. And then when you start to do that and you see teamwork and cohesiveness and connectedness, it all gets back to winning and having fun and going to the playoffs because now the big picture is let's get that ring. And you can't always say that with teams that lose. And even this Blue Jays team, they were 50 and 51 before Alex Anthopoulos went to work and acquired some key players. Troy tulowitzki has got as much character as anybody I've ever been around. He, he just kind of is under the radar. He's unassuming. He just does the job. He has now just two base hits in this playoff series with Texas, but the biggest one was in game three, the three-run home run to stretch a 2 nothing lead to 5 nothing. That's, for me, the swing of the playoffs. Absolutely. Finally, Jerry, we would be remiss if we didn't ask you briefly about the all-important and decisive Game 5 in this series. It goes Wednesday, of course, at 4 o'clock at Rogers Center. How do you see this playing out, and, and what are the keys for the Blue Jays to come out of this with a victory and move on to the American League Championship Series? I think the key for both teams, Brad, is a well-pitched game by a starter. In this case, you have a young second-year pitcher in Marcus Stroman who's overcome adversity knee surgery in March and just was outstanding in his four starts in February, won them all. In his four starts in September, I beg your pardon, he won them all. And I can't think of a better person on the mound right now than Marcus Stroman. He feeds off the crowd. He feeds off the energy that he has his teammates feed off that. But having said that, left-hander Cole Hamels has been around too and helped win a World Series for Philadelphia in 2008. It figures to be a classic matchup. The one advantage the Blue Jays have, their home crowd. That place will be electric. They'll be roaring from the very beginning when Marcus Stroman comes out there to start to warm up. And now you get to a point where you have two evenly matched teams and let the best team win from the standpoint of which starter might go deepest into the game and then David Price perhaps to pick up the situation. You've got Roberto Osuna, Aaron Sanchez. It's a nice situation for the Blue Jays to be in, but it won't be easy because Cole Hamels has already shown he can pitch against Toronto, which he did in Game 2. And it will no doubt be the biggest game that Toronto Blue Jays have played in the past 22 years. Legendary radio broadcaster and longtime voice of the Toronto Blue Jays, Jerry Howarth, has been our guest today. Jerry, you're such a class act, and we really appreciate you coming on the show and talking with us today. So here's to more playoff excitement to come, we hope, and, and to you personally, we trust continued good health and, and many more years of hearing your wonderful voice during the summer months from the radio booth at the ballpark. Thank you again so much for taking some time for us this afternoon. Brad, happy to do it, and God bless you. Okay, okay, Blue Jay.